Right, I'm going to make a reply video to some of the comments on some of the last three or four videos here. So I'll cut this into pieces and put them together. So anyway, this is To Be Serious's video. And uh, the, the commenter, there was a conversation between To Be Serious and Conference Report over this whole idea of, I mean, does it really serve any purpose to do all this poetic crap when you're, you're basically documenting our origins and the history of life on Earth and... I mean, it is kind of just a way of manipulating people. It is snake oil. It is oversold. It is essentially propaganda talk. It is what the religious resort to emotionalism, singing songs, um, you know, imagery. Um, it, it is a cheap way to make an argument. And that's all Conference what was saying. And well, anyway, those two got in a whole big old rigmarole about it. But anyway, the, the, the commenter who has been irritating me the most lately is this Dana Garrett guy who hasn't made a video on this subject. He seems so confident that he can, and yet he doesn't do it. Um, but anyway, he says, um, I think I'm starting to get this now. If someone, like a scientist, says anything that makes humans feel good about their existential situation in the universe, I don't even know what that is, then some YouTubers find that as priori grounds for dismiss it out of hand as fant I think phantasmal or religious. Um, well anyway, this whole idea about feeling good or bad is sort of irrelevant. Um, science should be science. The truth should be the truth. It should be as explicit as possible. How it makes you feel should be quite irrelevant. Uh, the fact is, is that how I'm going to feel about something, how you're going to feel about something, is obviously going to be quite different. Uh, we obviously have completely different tastes in what we find palatable in life, enjoyable, and all the rest of that. So it really becomes irrelevant in that context. Um, and the point is, is this is there, there is a technique used by the religious and the phantasmagorical to um, distort, pervert, lose all sight of any kind of explicit context. They cr tried quite deliberately to create a fog of ignorance and delusion and fallacy and imagery that is basically just a lie. Um, I mean, you, can, you, could, you could find a, a wasp that lays maggots and spiders and you could show it and say, look how pretty the bug is. <laughs> okay, and yeah, just ignore the context of its existence. Only those facts that leave a human feeling glum and despairing about his or her existential situation are to be counted as true. Well, anyway, I, this whole idea of an existential um, situation is, is a presumption that goes absolutely nowhere. What am I supposed to do with uh, that presumption? Oh, that's right. There's not a darn thing. Anybody can do it. Um, so anyway, Conference Board made some kind of re response and... Um, I mean, Dana Garrett's really snarky at me, I think, but what, regardless, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I think your discerning viewers would be hard to put to say, point to... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, choked on air. <sighs> Karina disease. <gasps> oh my. Anyway, five of your videos where you go <clears throat> after those who employ facts to extol negative sentiments about humanity's existential situation. Again, well, I don't even know what this is. What, what is an existential, existential situation? What exactly would that be? Outside of the context of evolution? Well, I, what, what, what is that situation? Um, especially if the trivial truth they hyperbolize is pain exists. So, so he has now, you, you know, he can't even deal with words like consumption, reproduction, addiction and cannibalism. Now he has to even further reduce it to pain exists. I mean, that's really not the argument. The argument is is that a tremendous amount of volume of pain exists. I mean, to say that, um, oh, well, radio, uh, you know, nuclear power plants, uh, you know, yeah, they do leak a little bit of radiation. I mean, there's a big difference between, you know, the natural little bit of radiation that you might expose the atmosphere to uh, on a functioning nuclear power plant and a meltdown. They're different things, and this is so. This is just more cheap distortion rhetoric. I'm not going to deal with the truth. I'm just going to lie about people, and that's a lie right there. Hyperbolize. Pain exists. That's not, nobody's making that argument. That's not the focus of their argument. Um, so you're just a liar. So way to be a douchebag, douchebag. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to him again probably, no doubt. 
All right, so here's some comments on uh, Bark Lord's video, Imposing co Cosmic Suicide. Um, yeah, a lot of dumb comments on here, so I'll, I'll do it. Dana Garrett, just for the fun of it. Uh, yes, you've got the fundamental hypocrisy that lies at the heart of these methanthropists. <laughs> My hunch is they don't off themselves because they are addicted to the catharsis afforded by experiencing expressing their hatreds. Um, yeah, so so this is this is what you would consider to be um, a fair, um, rational, reasonable, logically disciplined characterization of what other people are doing, right? So you're you're this is the this is what's called the intellectual high ground here, is that you're going to take people's sincere um, concerns about the the suffering endured by say sentient animals in torture camps, <laughs> billions of them a year, and you'll convert it into this kind of um, disgusting, putrid um, insult. And you think you're, you have some sort of um, integrity? You have integrity saying things like that? Yeah, fuck you. Uh, then there is the uh, psychological pressure they derive from inviting their la-la land delusions about how to kill off all living things. Um, look, the, the, the point is, is, let's say if planet Earth, if we knew it, it for, for a more certain fact, uh, that it was in fact doomed, some structural flaw, and in a thousand years it was going to end, um, it wouldn't be a la-la land delusion then to talk about how to um, ethically and reasonably um, uh, uh, put it out, put it down, right, put it out of its misery like a dog. Um, you you wouldn't wait for the catastrophe. No, you would you would understand there was something that needed to be done, and you would do it. Um, so again, just more real high high integrity la la land delusions. Well, what what's your counter? How 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 do you demonstrate or or, or even make a rational argument um, that somehow it's not possible? Is that your argument? Oh, I think you're a fool. <laughs> Fantasies can be very addicting. Uh, yeah, exactly. You're the one with the. You're the one talking about your existential um, purpose here on Earth. So why don't you explain that fantasy in a video so somebody might be able to make uh, a proper joke of it? Uh, Bark Lord, of course, endorses all this crap. Are you suggesting some sort of phantasmagoria, sir? Yes, of course he is. Um, all right. So anyway, down here further, this Pope Benedict guy um, said something about how. None of these people were going to work. Let's see. I doubt even that would work in, in men dumb is too fucking but ugly and contrived energy is a raving poofter. So that's Pope Benedict. Another guy of high integrity. Um, but his, his initial comment was that, uh, you know, it's the, the good news is, is we're not going to breed. And, and that's, the, it, you know, isn't, isn't that a funny joke? You know, these people who are critiquing other people's logical arguments actually believe that philosophy is something that you're genetically disposed to. That somehow um, I, I am genetically <laughs> an anti-natalist. That my father and mother must have been anti-natalist because that's how I came out. They think philosophy is genetic. And they're going to critique somebody else's argument. So, I mean, they're preposterously stupid, ignorant, <laughs> dumb, um, and yet they'll, they'll be arrogant enough to attempt to critique, critique other people's logic or intelligence or argument. And this is what Barklord calls probably a rational conversation, a reasonable comment section. People who don't deserve to be, <laughs> um, uh, to, to have their own little um, toilet to play in. Uh, so, bravo again. Um, yeah, so on to the next one. Alright, uh, the great text video now. Um, yeah, the, 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 the major player, I suppose, well, there was a few great text argues with a few people here. Yeah, well, I'm not going to bother. I mean, the one that bothered me the most was Perry Urban. Um, you know, he's turned into such a douchebag. <laughs> but uh, the way he's avoiding the argument is, is just so cheap. So, so basically he's in this argument and he says, it doesn't matter how many times you come out with this argument, I will never accept it. So right there, 
you know, such a closed mind, right? You, it doesn't matter how somebody explains it to you, you're just not going to under. You just you just know it's unacceptable. You know that there will never be a way that somebody can explain something to you. Um, it is entirely possible that I am wrong and you are right in the eyes of some dispassionate super being. Um, well, well, if you're conceding that possibility, then you must be conceding that you're on rationally thin ground, right? So it seems to me that you shouldn't be doing all this spouting of your, you, you know, here, here he's complaining about other people preaching to him, and here he is preaching on somebody's video about what the truth is, and about there's no absolutes, and there's no, you know, pain and suffering don't matter, and all this bullshit theory he's spouting, and yet he'll complain about other people spouting their opinion. But I find your position every bit as fantastical as I find my own. Well, that's right, right there. What kind of nonsense is this? If you find your own opinion to be fantastical, um, then maybe you should wait till you find your position to be rational. Uh, you know, uh, the difference between us is that I recognize the subjectivity of my, I don't know, POV, personal opinion, voiced or something. I don't know. Um, again, you want if you if you think that your opinions are just based on what you feel, okay? Yeah, other people are arg arguing that no, they're they're arguing a rational equation. They're arguing something that they might not personally like, okay? They might find it offensive and, and disgusting as a truth, but they're going to argue it because it's the fucking truth. Uh, whereas you keep preaching as if yours is somehow a deeper truth. Well, I know it's not a subjective truth. I know I've read books. I understand. I don't believe in evolution because I like the way evolution sounds. I believe in evolution because it's a more rational, logically based, evidence based theory. So you just can't keep throwing this subjectivity word around like every opinion is an unqualified pile of subjective mush. Because it's not. There's qualified opinions and unqualified opinions. And so your whole premise for argument is, is ludicrous. Um, every retarded theory is not equal. Evolution, the theory of evolution, is not the same as the theory of Donald Duck. Uh, I will stick to my gamble as you will stick to yours. I enjoy life, so sue me. This is the part I liked. I enjoy life, so sue me. Well, actually, you know, there's lots of courts we would like to be able to have. I mean, we'd like to have a liar's court. We'd like to have a cheater's court. We'd like to be able there to be real justice. And uh, in a sense, you should be suable. You should be accountable, ideally, right? I mean, if you, if you in your existence caused a bunch of horrific suffering and harm and mayhem and merely because of your own ego gratification merely because you won't accept it because you insist on everybody having to be a retard a subjective retard because you're a subjective retard you're going to assume everybody else is a subjective retard um, then yeah maybe you should be suable okay because you're not ignorant on purpose <laughs> I mean you're not ignorant by accident you're ignorant by deliberate will I mean, you have to be ignorant by deliberately, by deliberate will, not to know the difference between the theory of evolution and um, Mary Poppins. Uh, I mean, if you if you can't tell the difference between those two things as as realities, um, then yeah, you're com you're you're beneath unqualified, and you've got to know that. There's no way you don't know that. Of course, you know the difference. Um, and so this is all just preposterous manipulation of verbiage to excuse your own personal debauchery. So yeah, you should be suable. Um, you're a reckless, um, irresponsible um, asshole. <laughs> yeah, and you're willfully so. You're willfully ignorant. You're not uh, accidentally ignorant. You're willfully ignorant. So you suck. Yeah. All right, that's probably enough. But yeah, there's so so many little jackass comments that come out of people's mouths. I mean, in the comments, you lose even more respect for assholes when they start commenting. I mean, Gray Texas is just a very good example of that. Now, let me just read one. Well, I've been at the point of deciding to kill myself. I decided to do so, but was unable to go through with it. Uh, well, you know, I, I mean. <sighs> Well, it doesn't matter. Eternal agony is the only reason I decided to do it, because I truly believe my pain would never end. Well, what if your pain never did end? What if you didn't kill yourself and your pain continued? Then you would have been wrong. So, I mean, the only thing at question was your conclusion that your pain would never end. I mean, if, if you don't really understand the cause of your pain or your condition, 
you don't understand its its curability, then that makes that that means you made a stupid decision. It doesn't mean suicide's wrong. It means you personally made a stupid decision. <laughs> it did though. Um, well, I'm glad for you, but mine never did. Okay. I mean, yeah, I didn't. You know, I had the knife to my chest more than once. I had the thoughts running through my head. I had the car revved up. Um, but yeah, I mean, in hindsight, I'm not better off for not making the decision. I wasn't wrong that life is stupid. It's remained quite stupid. It hasn't uh, proven me wrong yet. Um, uh, what, so, so, I don't even get this part. Eternal agony is a religious myth, though, don't you think? Hmm. Most lives are not eternal agony, so why judge all life based upon an unrealistic probability? Well, that's obviously, so far, life has been eternal for four billion years. Life is eternal. Okay, essentially, so far. I mean, the, the, the end will come, but it's been a very long life. Four billion years is a long life. And it spent whatever hundreds of millions of those years um, sentient and quite capable of screaming in horror. So the screams don't stop because your individual life stops. Does not mean that life stops. Does not mean the pain stops. Does not mean the agony stops. And that's the issue. You keep trying to personalize um, antinatalism and try to say that there's individuals complaining that their personal life sucks. That's not the argument. The argument that life in general sucks and they don't want to keep living it. They don't want to keep being the victim of your obnoxious um, aggressiveness and imposing it. They don't want to keep waking up as Frankenstein on the fucking gurney and saying, what the fuck? You put another brain in this stupid body? You did it again? <laughs> you know? And unfortunately, he's not going to have the memory of it, though. Frankenstein's not going to be born, uh, created with the memory of all the other failed Frankensteins. And so he's just going to be another Frankenstein. He's just going to have to go through the history, and he'll figure, oh, fuck, I'm Frankenstein, 4,768. We've been there and done this over and over and over before. These fucking imposers keep creating me. I keep saying, fuck you, stop doing that. I keep burning down the village. They just don't fucking get it. Um... That's the real equation, asshole. So anyway, till next time. And such.